Sunday that Johann Rupert said, the youth league is like an irritating mosquito. It needs a doom. We fought against these people. We fought to a point where Johann Rupert had to speak. It's not for the first time we are fighting with these people. We said nationalization. We sent land expropriation. They declared us enemies. Praveen, Trevor Manuel, Cyril Ramaphosa. All of them, they are puppets of Johann Rupert and the Oppenheimer family. When Zuma was fighting with Praveen, we said to Praveen, the enemy of our enemy is our friend. Come here, let's fight Zuma. But you must know when we are done with Zuma, we are coming back to you. That's where we are. We have never hidden this thing. We are fighting white monopoly capital. We used to sing a song during Zuma's time. And we said to Zuma, So Leleni. So kshaya ngoba umendli leni. Sfunu shaya ama punu. Zuma stood between us and the white monopoly capital. That's why we had to get rid of Zuma. So that we can go directly to white monopoly capital. Our attack on Praveen Gordon is an attack on white monopoly capital. Because Praveen is a dog of white monopoly capital we must hit we must hit the dog until the owner comes out and once the owner comes out we must deal decisively with the owner Praveen it's a cabal that belongs to the UDF and destroyed all good African comrades he's no good this guy yes destroyed Peter Mukaba he has destroyed Winnie Mandela. He has destroyed everyone else that stood for the truth against the apartheid regime. His shenanigans are not new. Now, today, Praveen has gone into all state-owned companies and removed all black excellence because he hates Africans. He doesn't like Africans. Any African who speaks back to Praveen, Praveen threatens those people. He has never tried it with me. Because no one will speak to me the way Praveen speaks to high executives in state-owned enterprises. Go and look at the video of yesterday's appearance here. Praveen was talking as if he's in his kitchen here. He, he was talking like he has got no regard for this hearing here. Why? Maybe he's got some relationship with some people. Because we know that Praveen, amongst others, meets judges secretly. Guptas are nothing compared to what we are going to be subjected to now. Comrades, can you imagine if this building were had some association with people who had association with Guptas. We'll be hearing stories here. But today, a commission takes place in a rotten building, in a smelling building, a building that is in relationship and in cahoots with an ablas of state capture. Never listen to your enemy when it says to you, beat me here, don't beat me here. Don't beat me today, beat me tomorrow. You will be a fool. Jackson Mutembu says to us throughout Twitter, the drunkard Mutembu, I'm not sure if he did quit alcohol, but he tweets like he's still drunk. Jackson Mutembu says, why is the EFF not going to the commission of inquiry? Hey, Mutembu. You don't control the diary of the EFF. We will go to the commission when we want to. We will decide when to go. We have nothing to hide. We want them to line up here and lie one by one. When we come in, we shall reveal all their lies. How this one lied, 
how this one lied, how this one lied. We're not scared. Praveen went to the commission on his own. We never said Praveen go to the commission on Monday. Why do they want to set an agenda for the EFF? No one will set an agenda for the EFF. Stratcom, it's alive. The apartheid Stratcom, it's alive. Every day, EFF receives all types of questions. Why? They try to silence the EFF. Let me tell you what happened with VBS. There were four ministers who had bonds with VBS. When the investigation started, they told those ministers to move their bonds into main accounts so that they don't mention them. They found the Communist Party having received money directly from the VBS companies. The managers of VBS went to tell Advocate Mutau that this is the receipt. We paid three million for the conference of the Communist Party. That Mutau advocate never wrote the Communist Party in the report of VBS. Even when he was told that amongst other people we gave money is the Communist Party. Now, fast forward. Solima Paila says, we will defend Praveen with everything. You know why? Praveen made it possible for the Communist Party not to be in the Mutawung report. All those people of the ANC who are implicated in the VBS scandals were told, remove your staff, settle your staff, because we need the EFF. But we cannot get the EFF if you are in this thing. They were given an opportunity. So we are going to ask a simple question to each and every minister. Did you have a bond with VBS or not? And answer truthfully and honestly. Because we've got their names. So the VBS report is also questionable because it was manipulated to settle political scores. The institutions are being destroyed under the ANC government. We are